Hi, this is Chris Higby. I'm the general manager for DeseretNews.com and today I'd like to demonstrate our brand new iPad and iPhone app for you. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is how easy it is to get the app on your iPad. So I'm just going to go into the App Store. You can see that I've actually already entered the search term Deseret News into the search field. And the first thing that I see is the Deseret News app under iPad apps. And you can also see that down here at the bottom that it's available for iPhone. Um, so you can download that on your iPhone as well. And I'll demonstrate that here in just a moment as well. Real simple, I just hit install. And you can see that that begins to load immediately. As soon as the installation is complete, this takes a couple of seconds, you just tap the Deseret News icon. You can see that the app will begin to load the content behind the scenes. Here we are in the uh, essentially the home page of the app. And we've designed this to uh, model a couple of different reading styles. So the first one is just the, the quick news scanner. And we've used this left rail to allow you to just very quickly go through the news, the sports, the business, the opinion sections, all of the sections uh, that you would find online are available here on the app. But you can quickly scan them uh, using that left navigation. Uh, or our very, very most important stories across the entire uh, app are available in this uh, top rotator. And uh, obviously you can then go into each section similar to what you would do uh, on, on a website. And obviously, you can see how navigating in the sides and in the rotator area here, I can just very quickly get a, uh, a quick scan of what's going on in the news. But if I want to dig in deeper and I really want to spend a little more time, I can go into the, the different sections or even just back to the home page. And not only can I see the most recent stories, but I can also see what's been most popular. And we've added another feature which is these voices here. These are, uh, are we have some really unique voices, unique people that are writing for the Deseret News. And for instance, Robert Bennett, who was a former senator, um, wrote a piece on examining our, our uh, federal tax sources, or revenue sources, which actually is one of the best pieces that I've read on you know, explaining how our taxes work. That kind of leads you into the reading experience um, of the iPad app. And we designed this to be a, uh, a very rich reading experience. So you can see it's in uh, columns for much easier scanning through, easier reading. It's a serif font, which is actually easier to read. Um, also, you have the ability to open images uh, that uh, actually open at a, a higher resolution than you'll be able to find even online. So that's a, that actually makes for a really great reading experience on the app. And I'll show you a, a story here with maybe some more photos to show you how that can actually be a really nice way to scan through the story. But once I've read a story, I can actually begin to just navigate once I'm in a section through that section. Now this is an ad, but I can just quickly skip past that ad, kind of similar to a magazine. And I can just continue to scroll through the section. Or if I'm interested in going to another section, I just tap on the Deseret News icon and I can go into that section. So now I'm in the sports section. And uh, from here, Again, I can see uh, the most recent stories. I can also uh, go directly to uh, specific content. So if I'm really interested in, for instance, Utah Jazz content, I can just jump right directly to that. Um, and then I can also find the most popular uh, content in the section as well. So let's say, uh, for instance, that, uh, oh, we want to go into the BYU Cougars. Let's look at uh, a story on Jimmer Fredette. 
Uh, Jimmer Mania begins a Sacramento Kings Open camp. Fun story, as I scroll through the story, you're going to see some ads every once in a while. Um, but I can also then go right on to the next BYU story and continue on from there. This actually be, gets to be really fun as well because you can turn this um, into a three column story and as I open the images, again they're even uh, fuller or higher resolution as I go into this uh, landscape mode and I can just quickly scan through the photos in that story as well. So pretty simple. A um, couple of other things that I do want to show you is you do have the ability um, within the app to share via Facebook or via Twitter or to email uh, any story from the app directly to, to anyone else. You also have the ability to open this same story in its web format. So let's say uh, you're looking at a story that you know probably has quite a few links in it. As you'll notice, the app doesn't offer links directly into in the stories themselves yet. And uh, if you do want those links, you can just bring up the web version of it. And then that'll take you to where you can click on any of the links in the story. And then I can just easily close that back down as well. You're also able to see how many articles there are in a certain section and then what page you're on as well. And that's pretty much the extent of the app. Let me show you also how it looks on the iPhone. So this is, uh, this is it on the iPhone. Again, just tap on the Deseret News icon. You'll see again the content loads up. Now, as you can see, the iPhone reading experience is a little bit different. It really focuses on the most important stories in a short time frame, the ability to just be able to quickly scroll through and see what are the top stories, what are the top uh, stories in news, in the sports section, um, in the business section. One thing you'll notice is that as images begin to load, uh, this Deseret News icon will actually be replaced with those images. So you'll, you'll see that every once in a while. Um, well, let me go ahead and go into uh, a story. Just very simply, just tap on the story. And from there, you're just scrolling all the way through the story. There's no pagination in the iPhone app like there is in the iPad app. You you still have the sharing options, so the ability to open in your browser or Facebook it or email it or text it to somebody. And then you also have the ability to just uh, go not just uh, into these three stories per section, but let's say you want to go into the entire news section. And from there you can see what's most recent or what's most popular. So pretty simple reading experience. We wanted to make this very uh, fast, very basic, and then just a really clean reading experience on the iPhone. Okay, so that's the iPhone and the iPad app from Deseret News. Uh, for more information, you can go to DeseretNews.com, and there are a couple of links there on the homepage that will take you to more info. And you can also learn more about it on the App Store itself. These have been a lot of fun for us to build, and we hope you have as much fun reading them. Thank you.